All right, greetings, family. Um, this is the Black African Infrastructure Organization, and then we're out here in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, in the heart of the West End, 640 uh, Community West uh, Cafe, and we're here to have our first meet and greet uh, with the family, with other members, uh, sisters and brothers that have come from all over, have traveled, to finally put a face to the other sisters and brothers that we have. Um, here at the Black African Infrastructure Organization, our, our tenants are land, infrastructure, and nationhood, and um, that's what we truly believe in. And we're all truly happy to, to finally be in a, a position where we can meet, truly meet people of like mind. And um, I'm your brother, Jonathan Hill, and uh, I'm from, originally from Tallahassee, Florida, and now I'm here in Atlanta just um, building with some of the other uh, sisters and brothers. So. Perfect. Yeah. I, I see our sister here smiling in the yeah. green. Yay! Yeah. So I'm Nadej, also known as Belle, Bell Bagai, Belle Thanos. Thank you, hola. <laughs> um, I came all the way from Alaska to meet with the Georgia chapter. I have family in Georgia, so it was perfect. Um, and yeah, just all about land infrastructure and nation, but making sure to, that we see this through, doing what we can, doing our part. Meeting, getting organized, forming that we, that us, that our, uh, just to get collective minds and work on the next step. So, continue to talk some more. Other people will get into their introductions. At XN Family, and I'm going to turn, and you're going to see more of our wonderful brothers and sisters at our nice private networking uh, gathering. And I'm looking at five folks, and let me get a camera close and then we just get some basic introductions. Good afternoon, family. My name is Barbara Sutton and I live in Congress, Georgia, but I am international. My dad was retired Navy, is retired Navy, so I actually, my formative years were in Europe. I grew up in a little town called Anella in Scotland. When my father told us we were coming back to the United States, we all freaked out because we thought we were European. So, <laughs> wow, that's an interesting story. <laughs> it's better. B because y'all lived in Europe? Because oh, yeah. because y'all thought y'all were white. Well, my former just when I went, I was five. So I wow. grew up there. When we came back, I was 11. So when we came back, we landed in Tuskegee, Alabama which was my great-grandparents' home. So I knew my great-grandparents when I was raised with them. Because my father had to do two additional years in Europe, he wanted his family to be in a safe environment. So we were introduced to the Nation of Islam when I was 11, and I spent seven years in the Nation of Islam, the Shrine of the Black Madonna. So I'm all about nation building, and I know about nation building. I'm older than what I would look. I would be 60 in 18 months. So I think I bring to the group um, some insight, some wisdom. I've uh, been a nurse. I'm actually a nurse. I work right down the street. I have with VA, so I'm a mental health nurse. So that's what I bring to the table. I'm just happy to be here with family. And, you know, my thing is when I came into Nation Building, there are no excuses. Either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. And see, we've been around here for the last 40 years. The minister, um, Elijah Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said it's going to take 144,000. That is going to be the basis of the new government. So those that come in, that doesn't mean that's going to be the people, but those are going to be the people that bring in and organize. So I plan to be in that 144,000. Yes, my sister, appreciate energy and uh, thanks for um, joining us on the journey of a lifetime to go to Ghana next oh, May. Yeah, and I plan on being in Ghana. Omani's been getting my money for the last couple of months. So I plan on being in, um, I'm actually going to buy land. So I'm kind of going to scout things out, look around, and when I go, I will have my money in my pocket and be ready to put it down. That's perfect, our straight nation building. And we have a few people that's been mighty quiet and we're just gonna just get a what's up from them. I got our sister here, straight RBG to the T. <laughs> Hi, Lorraine, glad to be here. And I'm glad to finally have an opportunity to meet uh, some of my uh, fellow members of the BAIO. Um, I heard about the organization about eight months ago in the process of waiting for um, 
cable connection and moving and that sort of thing. So uh, on my phone, which is my cell phone, which is what I, I had as a means of uh, entertainment, I um, started exploring YouTube and various channels and that's how I heard about the organization. First organization um, in my lifetime that I have ever heard of uh, with a mission to build a nation somewhere on the continent of Africa for the African diaspora. It's totally blew my mind. Um, as a, a member of so many other organizations um, uh, in my lifetime, I have never um, heard of an organization such as this one. So um, I'm just excited um, about getting to know more about um, nation building and just ready to do my share and to do my part to uh, support in whatever way I can. That's perfect. Uh, there's a few other uh, members in the room. Uh, did you know all of these other members? Have you, have you met uh, any of them in the past? Uh, well, actually, um, I have uh, connected with uh, Brother Hill, Jonathan Hill. I should say outside of Jonathan. Seen, uh, I know I've seen uh, Sister Najib's uh, name on some of the blogs that I've watched um, on um, various channels um, under, let's see, who was it, Holop, um, I can't remember the other brother's name, um, College Genesis, and uh, Search for Uhuru. And so that's how I, I got to know some of the other uh, members of the organization. And so here I am. And that's beautiful. And that's what the folks like myself in Atlanta, since I've been here, it's all always about us just connecting, networking. And just like, they, just like the white devils did in ancient Rome, they sat together and they decided the fate of the future of their children, the future of the world, and they just took charge and they did the thing. And that's where I want, you know, I want to see us, um, where we take it to the next level, to the 21st century, and work our way out of the 20th century. Now, uh, does anybody else want to share or say a little, one or two things? Um, <laughs> and, uh, you, know, just, you, can just, you can just shoot a quick hello, your name. All right, hi, my name is Lazinga, and um, I heard about BAIO from the Search for Google YouTube channel. That's what it's about. Like minded individuals networking and nation building. Uh, anybody else? This, uh... Uh, yes, my name is uh, Dallas Calhoun. Um, I found out about the BAIO through uh, Search for the Guru channel. Um, the basic tenets of the BAIO just made a lot of sense to me. And um, I'm just here to learn and to in any way I can. Excellent, brother. That is powerful. There we go. And then now for the man of the hour. <laughs> and my brother in front of us, uh, I know we have talked a few times. Uh, I want to make sure I got you oh, okay. alive and everything. Uh, yeah, uh, so my name is Mike. Uh, Y'all probably know me in the chat room as Dundada. Oh, uh, yeah. Dundada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, we see you all the time. Yeah, so that's listening. You. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Okay, that's okay. So listening to uh, Dynast and um, and the kids that he had on the show, uh, Paula, Paula. Um, once they said the BAO, it was like it wasn't even a, uh, a hard thing to switch over. So you know what? I'm, I'm right with this. You know, uh, we just tried everything else, so why not try this right here? You know, uh, it's going to take. Uh, someone to start the foundation and if it's going to take only a few and hopefully that everybody else will catch on and we start building from here. But the main thing is networking and getting to know one, one another so this way you know, everybody's on the same page. So as long as we have that land, infrastructure, nationhood in our minds, uh, you can't divert from that. So everybody's on that same page. So yeah. Absolutely, and, uh, and, and you know, when you talk about the straight of black infrastructure, all of us should be on the same page. Right. Because if we live in America, we should be building the black infrastructure that we need here. If we're into Pan-Africanism and into this, doing things in Africa, we should be doing it there. Uh, and just basically, wherever we are as a black people in the world, we should be getting busy with it. And that should just be the only focus, really. Right. Just building the infrastructure that we need. Yeah. And family, we got our legendary brother here, the king of YouTube yeah. consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He literally brought everyone 
<laughs> Happy birthday. We gonna rise up. Sorry, sorry about my talking. We gonna rise up. Sorry about my talking. Yeah, I'm talking about the brother with the voodoo chip. You probably didn't know I was talking about you, right? You probably didn't know I was talking about you, but that's what we were talking about. Okay. Brother Dan, brother, appreciate your energy and appreciate all of the links that you have connected a lot of us with as far as business and, and you know, putting our network out there. You know me, I got a low YouTube subscription because I just, I'm like one track single minded. Uh -huh. But you bring Pan-Africanism in a worldwide base and connect all of us. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so yeah, um, you know, you want to share a few things? No, well, as I far as black infrastructure? I appreciate everybody coming out. Thank you so much, it means a lot. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just, I'm excited to see how everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I appreciate everybody for coming out. Uh, it really means a lot. Um, it's just, you know, I would say probably two years ago, I started to take this more serious. Um, I mean, going back and forth between here and after. I go to Nigeria tomorrow, I'll be tomorrow night. Uh, so I've been going back and forth between here and uh, after since 2011. And as I started to post and document, you know, people started to ask questions in regards to business, traveling, repatriation, uh, or whatnot. So basically what I want to do is put together a, a platform that, that uh, took away all the guesswork, you know. So, you know, just a one-stop one shop, one source. So if you have any questions in regards to anything Africa, Anything Pan-African for the most part, you know, um, you know, come to search for Huru. And I connected to brothers like B B Bomani, the BIO, pretty much everything, because I felt that uh, when it comes to the conscious community, that um, part was missing. You have a lot of talking heads, but no one really offering uh, real solutions and opportunities. So I thought, you know, I would, in fact, that, so I took it upon myself, well, us, we took it upon ourselves, to uh, bridge that gap. So um, again, everyone, thank you for coming. I uh, hope you guys find value in this. Uh, anything we can approve on, let us know. Sorry about being tardy. I had to go to I had to go to Kennesaw. So it took me 30 minutes to get there, but they have uh, we're doing road improvement, so it took me like an hour and a half to come back. So infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Infrastructure. There you go. So again, I'm glad we all get to meet up. You know, as this thing grows, you know, get more exciting and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you, uh, brother, and then everyone for coming out and connecting. And this is what we just want to literally see more and more of us doing: um, just connecting the world from, you know, from the African diaspora to the African continent, and being as practical as possible. And you know, I love the colors. I'm always telling people oh, yeah. that, you know, we live, you know, we, the colors on us every day. You know, you know, red, black, green, and gold, and we just live by that motto. You know, the blood of our ancestors, the land, the struggle, the fight of our people. And the straight, you know, when you think about the, the, the resources that were stole from, from the continent, you know, the red, black, green, and gold represent that complete struggle. And you know, so family, it's more than just rocking it and looking cool and sharp. It's literally just devoting our lifetime to it. And I tell people that what we have to build in Africa, it's, it's something where we have to go beyond our individual self and think about the future of our children. If we don't do what we're supposed to do and make things happen, our children suffer. Our children get caught in a situation where they're at the bottom of the barrel in society and you know we don't want to send our children off to universities and so on. You know, we want to be able to put them in a situation where they could be the master of their destiny. And a lot of times we spend 30, 40 years here in America and we give the plantation our heart and soul. Mm. And we might be the best engineer and scientist, but when we get to somewhere like Ghana and we're 70 years old, we're very limited on what we can do. So mm. we do need a new and younger generation from African diaspora to be going to Ghana and building these factories and building all the infrastructure that we talk about and that's one of the reasons why I reach out to my brothers and sisters because you know any organization that does have that direct title that's an organization that's getting right to the point and just like my brother Ross Marvin who have the collective black people movement um, and you know we want and connect and do work with the UNIA in, in Atlanta Georgia and uh, these are the organizations that's right to the point based on the title and based on the mission and the vision and, we, and that, you know, we are, so we have all of the people that we need to really make things happen. When I think about our ancestors, you know, when I think about Garvey, it's like, it, it seemed like 90% of the operation of the, the, the world was integration, and Garvey and a small percentage of people were, were about this black nation building. So now that we have seen that whole world 
as far as integration has come crumbling down and that it was the worst, you know, it's one of the worst mistakes we've made to give our future to just saying that uh, our colonizers are going to be our friends, our, we, our children can hang out, live together, and they're going to share everything in the world. And it was like, uh, it was like, it was a sick dream. And now that, you know, someone like President Trump has woke us up, you know, to the point where, you know, you know, they're building walls to keep people out and to keep people in, so you don't even know what the future is in America. So it's just really time for us to just keep on doing this more and more, connecting with each other, and just building the future. So family, Brother Jonathan, let's switch the camera to you and if you just want to okay. close out the things. Okay. Move it to yourself. All right. All right, greetings family once again. Um, it's just great to have everybody come together of like mind that we are finally uh, putting faces to names and that we're sisters and brothers uh, coming together for the purpose of land, infrastructure, and nationhood. And uh, really this is just a beautiful thing to finally get the ball rolling. Um, really what we want to do is, is, is organize and develop what some of the tasks and, and uh, purposes that we want to get done within a, whether it's a state chapter or a, a regional type of chapter. And from there we uh, you know, decide on, hey, this is our area of focus, this is our area of interest. We relay that information to some of the other members in the other states and other chapters, and uh, basically from there, uh, start our nation. And um, again, our tenants are land, infrastructure, nationhood, and you know, it's just controlling our, our context of re our, our reality, you know, from a social, economic, and political level, from top to bottom. And, um, you know, this is really what we see as the, the true solution. I further but appreciate your energy and yeah. family. Yeah. We'll keep you posted on all of the wonderful things that all of us are working on, and uh, we're going to build this nation oh. together. All right, cool. Oh, right.